into this video, we will see the one else statement in BHDL on the basis3 FPGA board. So let's open Vivado, create project. Next, we give it a name. We call it when else. Next, next. Of course, I'll choose the basis3 board. Next, finish. So first, let's change the target language from Verilog to VHDL. Okay. So now let's add sources, add or create design sources. Next, create file. We'll call it top. Okay. Finish. So now we need to specify the input and output ports. So we have in one, which is an input of two bits into which is an input of two bits and the output we call it out one which is of course an output of three bits okay so let's open the top dot vhd file And okay, so we will have out one equal to zero 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 when in one is equal to zero zero and in two is equal to zero zero. Else out one will be zero zero one when in one is equal to zero one and in two is equal to zero one else out one will be zero one zero when in one is equal to zero one and in two is equal to one zero else we have out one is equal to one zero zero when in one is equal to one zero and in two is equal to zero one else out one will be one 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 okay control s to save and now we need to run the synthesis okay in the same runs we can check the status of the synthesis Okay, the synthesis has finished. We can open the synthesized design. Okay, so now in IO ports, we need to connect the ports to the switches and LEDs on the FPGA board. So this is the first input. We connected the first bit to R2, the first switch, and the second to the second switch, which is T1. And the standard is LVCMOS 33. The second input, we connect the first bit to the third switch, which is U1. Okay and then we'll connect the second bit to the fourth switch, which is W2, the standard LVCMOS 33, 
and the output will connect it to the three LEDs. So L1, P1, and L3. Sorry, N3. The standard is always Elevisimos 33. Control S to save. Okay, so now we have to create the constraints. Okay. So now we need to generate the bitstream, and of course Vivado will relaunch the synthesis. So now we can close the synthesized design. Okay, so the implementation is finished. We can open the hardware manager. Okay. We can turn on the FPGA board, so open target, auto connect. Okay, now we can program the device with our bitstream. Okay, so now we can go through all the combinations of the inputs. So thank you guys for watching this video, remember to leave a like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. See you in the next video.